Hello today's video we have the following content. There is a kind of love called Luo Jin and Tang Yan. They have been married for six years and have become a textbook couple in the entertainment industry. How enviable is the marriage of Tang Yan and Luo Jin? Does she radiate more girlish charm after marriage? When it comes to the marriage of 85 flowers, Tang Yan cannot be ignored. She may be the luckiest and happiest one among them. Tang Yan and Luo Jin have been walking slowly from being a CP to achieving a positive result. Perhaps it is because both of them have a sincere heart that they can move forward with each other and eventually become lovers. After they got married, they also set an example of a model couple in the entertainment industry, which is enviable. So, how did they get together? Before Tang Yan and Luo Jin became a couple, Tang Yan had a well-known boyfriend, that is Qiuze. Their relationship should have received widespread attention at the time. The two met during the filming of The Three Daughters of the Xia Family. Later, the two collaborated again in Love Wakes Up, and it was in this drama that they got together. Their love became a household name with the popularity of the work Love Wakes Up. At that time, everyone understood that Qiuze was a famous scumbag in the Taiwanese entertainment industry. He had dated actresses such as Ching Kaya On and Rainy Yang, but after breaking up, he was also accused and condemned by these actresses because he was considered very unreliable and a complete playboy. Qiuze not only spent money lavishly, but also had problems with his character. Qiuze was often involved in scandals, but he was good at speaking eloquently and making girls laugh. Perhaps because of this, Tang Yan was fascinated by him. I thought that Qiuze would be more restrained after being with Tang Yan, but I didn't expect Qiuze to be dishonest. Even if the relationship was exposed, he often flirted with other women outside. He was often involved with Taiwanese artist Li Yufen, and a lot of gossip was exposed. He even gave up Tang Yan for Li Yufen, and finally even Tang Yan's agent felt unbearable. After Tang Yan and Qiuze started dating, she endured a lot for him, but Qiuze's attitude was still stubborn, which caused Tang Yan's expectations for him to disappear, and she finally decided to break up. Tang Yan experienced great pain because she had paid too much for this relationship. After the breakup, she couldn't get rid of the haze in her heart for a long time, until she got the guidance and support of Yang Mei, Tang Yan gradually began to recover. After that, Tang Yan never rashly invested in a relationship again, and she never made her relationship public until she met Luo Jin. Like Tang Yan, Luo Jin also experienced a not-so-good relationship. His experience is very similar to Tang Yan's. They both came together because of a drama and Miao Pu's cooperation. At that time, Luo Jin and Miao Pu go star Demu Gain takes command. The two fell in love because of the play and started a relationship smoothly. During the period, their relationship was very harmonious and they even planned to get married. When they met their parents, they encountered strong opposition, which also brought a gap between the two. Miao Pu is four years older than Luo Jin, so Luo Jin's parents are reserved about their relationship while Miao Pu's parents think that Luo Jin is just a young actor and do not approve of their relationship. Despite opposition from both parents, they did not enter the palace of marriage, but they did not break up. Miao Pu's father was later hospitalized due to illness. Due to her busy work, she could not take care of her father in person, but it happened that Luo Jin had been taking care of him. It was originally thought that Luo Jin's efforts would be cherished by Miao Pu, but it didn't take long for the two to break up. While filming outside, Miao Pu met the wealthy businessman Chen Yiheng. Under Chen Yiheng's pursuit, because Miao Pu and Luo Jin were separated for a long time, she gradually developed feelings for Chen Yiheng and finally chose to break up with Luo Jin. Luo Jin suffered great pain after the breakup, and there was no news of a new relationship until he met Tang Yan. Tang Yan and Luo Jin can be said to be running to each other. They gradually developed from friends to lovers, and all of this was something they walked through step by step. They were friends rather than lovers at first. They met Fuko starring in the drama Gone with the Wind, which was also their first collaboration. During the filming of this drama, Tang Yan and Luo Jin found that they had many common topics as soon as they met, and their hobbies and personalities were very complimentary. Luo Jin admired Tang Yan very much, so the two gradually became good friends. Occasionally, they would often have fun together. Tang Yan would often receive visits from Luo Jin and they would often celebrate Tang Yan's birthday together. After the filming of Gone with the Wind, they were also very lucky to continue to work together and took on drama such as X-Men Agents and Diamond Lover. The two actors had a lot of rival scenes in these dramas, and they may know each other very well, so their performances were very natural and full of chemistry. 
The audience even had a strong interest in their pairing. The audience was originally just joking and cheering, but they didn't expect that the two of them actually developed feelings in the play. After starring in several dramas in succession, Tang Yan and Luo Jing continued to collaborate on works such as The Princess Wei Yang and Return to the Past, and finally successfully worked together in The Princess Wei Yang. The relationship between the two was exposed after the show was broadcast. For a time, Tang Yan and Luo Jin's relationship became a hot topic. At that time, Tang Yan's career was booming, and Luo Jin's career was also on the rise. Therefore, this relationship attracted widespread attention. At first, the audience thought that the two were just used to hype the TV series, but they did not expect that the couple would officially announce their relationship. After Tang Yan's official announcement, many fans of Luo Jin were once considered unworthy of Tang Yan, after all, Tang Yan's popularity was far greater than Luo Jin. Some netizens felt that Tang Yan might find a richer and better partner, there were both blessings and doubts about their relationship. As time went by, people gradually realized that although Tang Yan might find someone richer than Luo Jin, she would definitely not find someone more suitable than Luo Jin. After Tang Yan and Luo Jin announced their relationship, they also officially appeared in the public eye and often participated in various activities together. From their interactions, it can be clearly felt that Luo Jin and Tang Yan are very compatible. When attending events together, people often find that Luo Jin rarely shows his face because he always looks at Tang Yan. He is very gentlemanly, always taking the initiative to lift Tang Yan's skirt, and even showing his love for her in front of everyone. In addition, when asked about each other, the two were full of praise in their respective interview programs, and they couldn't help themselves. If Tang Yan was asked about Luo Jin's personality traits, she would praise him as a very good person, facing everyone with sincerity, and not selfish, and treating her with respect. Tang Yan's answer shows that for her, Luo Jin is a person who gives her a great sense of security, and she only sees his advantages. Luo Jin has the same attitude towards Tang Yan, praising her generously and praising her for being a very careful person. He also expresses his care and support for her, praising her for being rational and calm, not impulsive or extreme. Tang Yan and Luo Jin's sincerity to each other touched many netizens, allowing them to witness the true love between the two, so they received many blessings when they got married. Perhaps it was because of the mutual understanding and support between Tang Yan and Luo Jin that their relationship was able to develop for a long time and eventually led to the palace of marriage. After many years of dating, Tang Yan and Luo Jin announced that they had obtained a marriage certificate in 2018 and finally became a legal couple. Their wedding was low-key and dreamy. They chose to hold their wedding at the Bell Palace in Vienna, with a fairy tale theme. The entire venue and theme layout were dreamy, as if they had walked into a fairy tale forest. Tang Yan's wedding was completely in accordance with her preferences, and Luo Jin respected her very much. As long as Tang Yan liked it, he would try his best to satisfy her. From the photos of their wedding, we can see that their wedding was very beautiful and full of a happy atmosphere. The happiness of the two was also revealed in their smiles after marriage. After getting married, Tang Yan reduced her working hours and devoted more energy to her family. In 2019, she welcomed her daughter Xiao Ziyiding, and the family of three lived a happy and fulfilling life. After accompanying her family for several years, Tang Yan gradually entered the public eye. Tang Yan appeared on the stage again, giving people a completely different feeling. She is already in her 30s, but she still looks like a girl's innocence and vitality. When Tang Yan talked about the topic of having children in a program before, her whole face was filled with smiles. She mentioned that after giving birth, Luo Jin had been with her, taking care of the child and herself wholeheartedly. Luo Jin's careful care for his wife and children made Tang Yan very happy. Tang Yan's marriage is very happy. She married an excellent husband and welcomed a lovely daughter, making their family life very happy and happy, compared with many other marriages of post-85s. Therefore, when Tang Yan later participated in variety shows, she completely showed an innocent look, and some netizens even teased her for being silly and sweet. It is obvious that she not only received careful care from Luo Jin after marriage, but also received full protection. Luo Jin showed his sincere love for his family. He accompanied his family wholeheartedly after marriage, which attracted public attention. Not long ago, during the broadcast of The Long River of the World, in order to hype, the crew manipulated the hot searches of Luo Jin and other actresses, causing some keyboard warriors to spread unfavorable remarks against the two. When faced with this situation, Luo Jin did not wait for the situation to evolve, 
but stood up firmly to express his position, and even directly deleted the Weibo promoting the new drama. Although Luo Jin's behavior caused dissatisfaction with the crew and had a negative impact on resources, some netizens stood up to support his approach and praised him for being a real man. Luo Jin is actually a reasonable person. For everything, he insists on respecting the bottom line and will never forgive behavior that hurts his family. Luo Jin's behavior shows his sincere feelings for Tang Yan. He has always been on the front line and tried to protect his family. Many netizens also saw the strong relationship between Tang Yan and Luo Jin, and some rumors released by marketing accounts were also solved. Tang Yan and Luo Jin's marriage is stable and happy, and they have become a model couple in the entertainment industry. Tang Yan, now 40 years old, still looks like a girl, her career and love are flying together, and her life is happy and fulfilling. She and Luo Jin support each other, and Luo Jin's career is currently gradually rising. His acting skills are highly regarded in the entertainment industry. I believe his career will become more and more successful. The two gradually developed from a friend relationship to a couple, step by step, and walked towards each other with sincere feelings, and finally entered the palace of marriage and built a happy family together. The two are role models of love in the entertainment industry. They are very low-key and focus on managing their marriage and family. They use sweet love to add color to their married life, just like seasoning various trivial matters in life. I believe that Tang Yan and Luo Jin's future life will become more fulfilling. I hope everyone can find their ideal partner and grow old with them. Next news. Skill PK, Wang Hao vs Yang Mi, which side are you on? Acting PK in the entertainment industry is common, but this time the duel between Wang Hao and Yang Mi has sparked heated discussions. The two actresses shined on the screen, but who is better in acting? Follow this article to unveil the prelude to this acting battle and see which side the audience is on. Wang Huo, the actress who became famous for her role as Wang Manchin in The Pretender, won unanimous praise from the audience for her superb acting skills and affectionate performance. From Wang Manchin's eyes to every subtle expression in the play, Wang Huo interpreted it vividly, making people feel as if they were in that era and felt the complex emotions of the character. Her performance was not only moving, but also made people praise her acting skills. At the same time, Yang Mi, as a popular young actress in the entertainment industry, also performed well in many popular dramas. However, in The Pretender, the role she played was controversial. The audience questioned her acting skills and believed that her performance in this role was not as good as Wang Hilo. This contrast has intensified the audience's doubts about Yang Mi's acting skills to a certain extent, and has also made this acting more and more, and more intense. In this acting war, fans of Wang Hao and Yang Mi have stood up to defend their idols. Some people praised Wang Hao's acting skills for being deeply rooted in the hearts of the people and interpreting the role of Wang Manchin vividly and three-dimensionally, others believe that Yang Mi has made a breakthrough in acting. Although it is slightly inferior to Wang Hao, it is already good enough. The debate between fans of both sides has escalated and even turned into a war of words. In this acting war, the most innocent person is Wang Hao herself. She did not take the initiative to get involved in this storm, but just played her role seriously in the play. However, because her performance was too outstanding, she became the center of this controversy. Despite this, Wang Hao still maintains a low-key attitude and continues to bring more excellent works to the audience. In this acting war, there is not only a duel between Wang Hao and Yang Mi, but also different evaluations of the actor's acting skills by the audience. Some people believe that acting skills are the only criterion for judging whether an actor is good or bad, but some people believe that factors such as the actor's appearance and temperament are equally important. This disagreement made the acting more more confusing and also triggered the audience's in-depth thinking about the evaluation of actors. As time went on, the acting more gradually subsided. The audience began to look at each actor's performance rationally and was no longer swayed by personal prejudice. They realized that each actor has his own strengths and weaknesses and should be given a fair evaluation. And in this controversy, Wang Hao and Yang Mi's acting skills have also been recognized and appreciated by more people. Looking back on this acting war, we can see the audience's attention and love for the actor's acting skills. At the same time, this controversy also reminds us that we should maintain a rational and objective attitude when evaluating an actor, and not be swayed by personal prejudice. Only in this way can we truly appreciate the wonderful performance of each actor on the screen. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button.
If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 